Hello grandchildren, I'm currently in the uh, Los Angeles International Airport, I think. Uh, and this week has just been absolutely insane so far. I'm about to move for the next two or three years to uh, Sydney, Australia. And uh, I just got off of a flight from Sacramento to Los Angeles. And now I'm in Los Angeles for like three hours. And then I'm on my way to Auckland, New Zealand. And then from there to Sydney, long amount of flying left to do in this adventure. What I wanted to tell you guys though is this week has just been insane so far. Uh, I, I just, I've done so many things at once because I did just finish up with the backpacking trip with Logan. Arranged and went skydiving at uh, Lodi Parachute Center. It's a little bit like kind of past Sacramento. That was just absolutely mind blowing and I think I'm already addicted just from that one time to parachuting and I need to do it again at some point. Another thing that I ended up doing and I've been kind of debating this for about a month and I decided that it, I thought it'd be cool to get a tattoo. I wanted to have some kind of tattoo that I could keep track of the places that I've been in the world and uh, I had a couple different ideas but I ended up settling on the idea of getting a tattoo of the world map on my shoulder. That was actually yesterday, the day before I left for Australia, I, I arranged with a tattoo artist to get the tattoo of the world map and uh, I, the thing is I color in the countries that I've been to and because I've never left the country so far in my life the only thing that's highlighted is the United States but pretty soon after I move to Australia then I'm gonna have to color in Australia and then uh, any country I go to after that is also gonna be filled in. I'm not gonna highlight every single country that I go to because uh, I mean I'm gonna fly through New Zealand and I think that's a dumb reason to, to get a tattoo but I am going to highlight any country that I've been to for long enough that I got to know some of the people that live there and uh, long enough that I have developed a story. I have at least one good story from that country. I think those are really my basic requirements and then any re countries that fit that requirement I'm gonna fill in more of my country tattoo with that. I'm on my way to Sydney right now and initially I was planning on shipping all of my stuff there through FedEx and not taking too much with me on the airplane. But my idea was I just wanted to take a backpack filled with the basic stuff that I needed to survive for a couple of weeks uh, onto the airplane with me and FedEx would ship everything else uh, which is my computer, all my camera equipment. And I, I had talked to someone at FedEx and uh, I don't know maybe there's like a communication error but there was a major part of the process of shipping my stuff to Australia that I didn't know about and I wasn't aware of and it was going to take way too long so I went to ship everything this morning. I spent like a week getting everything ready to ship and putting in the boxes and stuff and I found out then that I could not actually ship everything yeah, from FedEx. So this morning, uh, about an hour before we had to leave to the airport, I had to uh, rip open all the boxes that I'd packed the stuff to ship and figure out a way that I could do it with checked baggage. I have two giant luggage bags that are filled with uh, computer parts and camera equipment. I was going to ship my computer before but I can't fit an entire computer in a luggage bag so I ended up actually having like to really really quickly this morning take apart my computer and just put all of the pieces into the bag and leave behind some of the pieces that were really really big or heavy and I'm just gonna have to rebuild my computer in Australia, which is kind of weird. I'm probably in about half an hour, I think I'm actually going to leave for Auckland, and then I'll be in Sydney for the next two or three years of my life. So that's exciting. Uh, anyway, grandchildren, if you're watching this, we should watch the movie Airplane, because that's somewhat relevant, and it's a funny movie from the 80s, which is before I was even alive. So for you guys, it'd probably be just super old and not even funny at all to you guys, but I like it. We should watch Airplane. See you guys soon.